Hey there, you who are watching this video right now, this is Madsen and we need to talk about some stuff. Now first of all I would recommend you actually minimize this video and get going with what you have to do in game. Stuff like Rift of Oblivion, bashing mobs, crafting, whatever. Because this is mostly going to be rambling videos. There will be some visual here and there but even if you don't see them it doesn't really matter. Now let's get into the meat of the subject, what this video really is about, and uh, the first thing I would like to address is the current content being uploaded to the channel. So as you may or may not have noticed, I am currently on a hiatus of the open map PvP highlight, and there is actually a good reason for that. And that's the fact that ever since 5.3 hit in general, um, the maps are extremely empty. And it's becoming harder and harder to find people to actually kill and get record, like decent records with. And I don't want to just upload some random crap of me binning up on a bunch of rank 1 low geared people. I actually want the video to be interesting, so I've still the, the fact that I did not upload a single video since the fifth highlight a few weeks ago doesn't mean that I've stopped trying at all. I actually try and go PvP every single day, hoping that I will actually catch something rather than ice on tape. But it just doesn't happen. Uh, partly because of the fact that this patch simply sucks for open map PvP, but also because of the fact that I think people catched on the fact that I'm making videos, I just don't want to be a part of them. So whenever I find someone they just run away, immediately search for my kisk and destroy it or stuff like that. And yeah, it's just not really interesting anymore. So it's not that I'm stopping the series, it's just that it's pretty difficult to find an episode right now. And that's one of the reasons why I actually started uploading Arena of Gold highlights. And that's because this is at least very consistent in that it happens twice a week regardless of what I do, and most of the time I win, so yeah, that's literally free content being handed to me and I can just paste the formula I've been uh, applying on the open map PvP highlights. So yeah, I'm not stopping the open map PvP highlights, but it's not the easiest thing ever to record as of now. Now, on the topic of content, I've actually been working on some different videos that doesn't actually involve uh, PvP highlights, that being a guide on how to get into the endgame of Aeon as of 5.4, and another one involving my philosophy when it comes down to PvP. And while I feel like some people will actually find some interest in those videos, I'm also somewhat afraid of uploading those videos because I feel like people are going to take them the wrong way. Now it, it may be uh, stupid of me to think that, but the mentality in Aion is made in a way that whenever you try to help someone, uh, everyone is going to think that you have a superiority complex or whatever, and just bash on you for thinking that you are superior or whatever. So yeah, maybe it's just I get I just have the wrong idea and uh, people will actually find this helpful. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you actually would enjoy a video like that. Now another topic that I want to bring up is actually the improvement in quality videos I've been trying to bring after each video. In that, while researching for better render settings, I've stumbled upon some information, some very interesting information regarding YouTube and the way its algorithm works. In that, basically, YouTube takes your video, you upload your video to YouTube. It has a basic codec applied to it that basically has a restricted bitrate on it. And if your video gets enough views, likes and comments relative to the rest of your channel, YouTube will apply a better and improved codec on this video which will allow for a better bitrate. So what this means is that basically 
when you first upload a video, the quality, even in 1080p, is going to look like rubbish. And you can't help that. It doesn't... Like, of course, your render, se your render settings may actually be at fault. But even if it is not, then you can't do anything about that. The only way your video will actually have its true quality shown is if people give enough positive uh, feedback on it. Another way that you can actually force it is by uploading your video in 1440p or in 4K quality because you, the, the codec, the base codec that YouTube puts on the videos doesn't actually work on higher quality videos like that. So they have to put that improved codec on that. But the drawback that it has is that if someone with a worse internet co connection watches your video, they will actually have a, an experience that is worse than before. So basically, what I'm trying to come at here is that, and that's not only for me, but if you are following a small content creator that only gets a few thousand views, uh, dropping a like goes a real long way in that it not only raises its motivation, to put out more content, but it also forces YouTube to recognize that this channel is uploading quality content and uh, it should actually start putting the improved codec on its video when, he, when uh, the video is uploaded. So yeah, that's all up to you guys. The next thing that I want to bring up are the two new additions that have appeared since the last video, that being the Twitter page and the Patreon page. Now, I'm certain people who have noticed the Patreon video had some raise of eyebrows thinking that <laughs> that's it, I'm done, I'm taking this way too seriously and I think I can make a living of making random highlights on iron. It's really not the case. Uh, the way you can see it is mostly like a donation button on the Twitch page in that it's just there because most people do it. And if you want to directly support me, then you can, it's there, but I have no expectation from it. The, the other thing is the Twitter page. Now this, I actually want to use as a means of communication with you guys in that I will be using it to create polls for upcoming videos that I want to make to know which one you want to see more than the other. And to post screenshots and exclusive content that simply could not uh, or at least would not be relevant on the YouTube page. So if you have a Twitter account and you want to see more of what I do, then go for it, go follow it. I will really appreciate it. Now that's about it, about what I wanted to talk about in this video. As a small tidbit of information, the next video I should be uploading should be a new and improved gear set rundown video uh, in order to match what my gear currently is since the the first one I make is now somewhat outdated, so yeah, watch out for that, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.